Are you using Capture One guides? If not, this is definitely a tool you're going to want to jump on. So in this video, I'm going to share how you can set up guides and give you some examples of how I use them in my food photography. Hi, I'm Rachel Koronek, professional food photographer, helping you edit incredible photos that look good enough to eat. Now, why would we use guides when we are taking photos? Well, the simplest reason is sometimes we need to make sure that we're getting straight lines, that subjects are straight, but we also might want to use them to help us guide the scene that we're setting up. So in still life photography, we have to create a scene from nothing and it is helpful to use guides to help us place objects. So first of all, let's take a look at how we can set up guides in Capture One. To set up our guides, we just simply need to head to view and click on or off to show our guides. Now you can head in and customize your guides. So I'm gonna go reset guides here. And so what we can do is we can add as many horizontal and vertical guides as we need in an image. It is also going to show throughout that particular photo shoot, so that session, all the guides that you have added. So I'm gonna go and add a horizontal guide here. And then I simply just take my cursor over the guide and I can drag it to any place within the image. So in this photo, I can go ahead and make sure that the background that I'm using has a straight horizontal line. For glassware as well, you can also go ahead and add a vertical guide. And this is handy, especially of us who shoot beverages, who like to get vintage glassware, because you will find that there are deviations between glassware and sometimes the stems are not always straight. So this can help us get those straight lines within our photo. To remove any guides, you simply just grab them and drag them straight out of the photo. Another reason that we might want to make sure that we have straight lines in our photography is if you're doing still life or food photography, we have props and sometimes we want to make sure that those lines are perfect. So with this bunt cake shot here, I have this beautiful ceramic tile that I've used at the bottom and I'm simply going to go ahead and add a vertical guide. Now I can do this while I'm tethering as well. So you can use this in your tethering screen to make sure that any of these lines are straight. So I'm going to make sure that this prop is straight by adding a horizontal and vertical guide and then make any adjustments as I shoot. The next example of how I use guides in Capture One is really important in my food photography. So when I'm setting up a scene, I'll go ahead and compose, I'll put props down and then I'll take out maybe the hero dish that I need to make the recipe. So if we look at this image here, I am making a Dutch pancake. So I've set up the scene exactly how I want the composition. And then, then I need to take the skillet out to actually make the Dutch pancake. So when it's ready, everything is set up and ready to go. So what I like to do is I set up the scene as I like, and I go in while I'm tethering and I'm going to add some vertical guides here. And I'm just going to add them to the edge of the skillet. That way, when I go ahead and remove the skillet from the scene, as you'll see in this next shot, I know exactly where I need to place it because it needs to go in between those guides. So when I've gone ahead and placed it back in, I can see that I've placed it in the right area. And then I can go ahead and plate the rest of the food to capture that final hero shot. Another way you can use guides is to help you place subjects smack bang in the middle of your photo. So that just simply is going to require us to add a vertical and a horizontal guide to help us place subjects in the middle. And then if you have this little guide icon as a shortcut, you can simply toggle it on and off. The other way we can use guides is if we need to shoot multiple aspect ratios for clients, we can use those guides to help us place subjects so that they're going to work for multiple aspect ratios. So let's just say that you are shooting the aspect ratio straight out of camera, which is two by three, and you need something as well that's gonna work for Instagram at eight by 10. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump into an eight by 10 crop. I'm gonna turn on our annotations here and just mark the edges. So roughly about here is what an eight by 10, the dimensions would look like. So jumping back into our original crop, then I'm going to go and add some guides. So I'm going to go and add two horizontal guides. I'm going to go and move those roughly to 
those areas would be marked with the annotations. So we can now shoot and this will show up in our tethering as well. And we know that everything up here might not show up in an 8x10 for Instagram. So this is going to help us guide our composition to make sure it works for both aspect ratios. Now, if you're ready to take your photos to the next level in Capture One and unlock the secret to the industry's most powerful editing tool, then make sure to check out my masterclass, Capture One Magic.